Hi, I'm Julie, Fape Bam Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to use your scanning cut to create labels for a condiment bar at your next barbecue. So this is my condiment jar, and I have a ruler here because I'm trying to determine what size the label should be. And looking through this ruler, it looks to me like something two, two and a quarter by like one and a quarter would kind of fit perfectly on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my first layer of vinyl ready. I'm using a Scan and Cut DX225 and I'm gonna choose pattern and the shapes. Now there are lots of fun shapes to choose from here, but I'm looking for something that will be a perfect label for my jars. Hmm, I kind of like this round one, but I wonder if there's something just a little more special. One of the nice things about having a scan and cut is that you really can customize, customize, customize. Let's see, these are some cool shapes. Um, ooh, I really like this one. So according to my measurements, I want this to be about 1.25. And then you can see that the width automatically changes to 1.79. So I wanna hit the aspect ratio button, and this is gonna allow me to make it as big as I want. Um, I think I'll make it a little bit longer. So it's about 2.75. Now you can always take a ruler and remeasure if you're nervous at any point whether or not it's gonna fit, but I think that's the right measurement for me. Now, if you want, you can choose that you want to have nine of them here, but in case you forget to do that, I want to show you where else to find that. So I'm going to hit set. I can see it. Then I'm going to say edit, object edit. I want to hit that plus sign. Now I can have nine of them. There they all are. And I can have the machine arrange them for me just by choosing this option. And you can see you can arrange them so they're perfectly up and down or for the most space saving option, whatever it is that you want so that it works for you. Then you're gonna say, okay. And now we are ready to go ahead and add our text. So for that, I'm gonna use Canvas Workspace for Mac. So we're gonna head to our computer. I'm here in Canvas Workspace for Mac, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the T or text item. This is gonna allow me to type out my first item. Now, I wanna put banana peppers, but I want that to be on two different lines. So you can only do one line at a time. So after I type banana, I'm gonna hit the return key, and you can see there's banana. But I want to go over to the right and choose my font. I want something very readable. So I picked a font that you can easily read because it's gonna to have to be quite small. All the text has to be under one by two, essentially. So I can go on up here to the editing panel and I can see exactly how big this is. So I wanna change the width to two and I hit return. And now it's of course less than one, which is great. So then I want to duplicate this, and there are a couple different ways to do it. I'm gonna hold down the Option key on my Mac, click and drag, and that will make a second one. You could also use the Menu option to duplicate. Then I'm gonna double click Banana, and I'm going to write Peppers. And now I know that these two halves are essentially the same size well, the same font size. So you can see how I've selected both of them by simply swiping over it. I'm going to align them by choosing the center align, and then I'm gonna go ahead and group them by holding Command G. And now I have this little label which is ready to cut. So I'm gonna to continue to do this with all of the different text that I need. So you can see I have the word ranch and it's two and I wanna write the word dressing, which is much longer. So I'm going to type it in and hit return. And now when I choose two inches, you can see that it's a much smaller font size. If I want the two halves to match, I can see that the height of this is 0.22. So I can make the height of ranch also 
0.22 and that will make sure that they're the same font size but if you like the look of the uneven sizes which I kind of do you can leave it at two inches and simply align them and I think it looks great so totally up to you whatever style you want so command G to group and now I should have all nine of my labels I'm just gonna place them onto they don't really need to be super lined up but I'm just gonna place them onto here to conserve my vinyl okay so now that I've done that I'm going to select them all again hit command G to group them and now I'm ready to send it on over because this is all grouped together and I can just go ahead and cut it out of my vinyl so I'm gonna go up to the menu file and I go over this almost every time. If you save this file, it's going to save it as a Canvas Workspace project, not as a cuttable FCM file, okay? What you want to do is export it, which means save it to your computer as an FCM file, or you want to transfer it. So I'm going to choose to transfer. And we are ready to go to our machine. I'm back at my scan and cut, and I'm going to choose Add, Retrieve Data, hit the wireless button and there you go there's all the text that we did and so now I'm ready I'm gonna put a white piece of vinyl here I think and maybe black there I haven't quite decided on the colors but we're gonna put two different colors of vinyl here but the same weight and then we'll cut them out at the same time so I'm gonna go ahead and put my vinyl on my mat and then we'll scan it in to make sure that everything's in the right place so you can see that I went with black for the labels and red for the text. And I'm just gonna go ahead now and scan that in to make sure that everything is going to fit. It all looks good to me. So I'm ready to just go ahead and say, okay. I want to cut. And now I want to look at my settings because I want to turn the half cut on. Now lately vinyl's been cutting at a half cut pressure of one for me, but I want to do a test cut to make sure. So I'm going to say, okay, test. And I can see my test cut is down here. I want to pull it up just a little bit so it's not on top of the tape that I used. And then I'm going to say start and we'll take a peek at how that cut looks. So let's check out that test cut. Looks like it cut the vinyl out perfectly. And if I pull up the edge here, it did not cut through the paper, so that's great. I'm just gonna make sure that everything is down. Now, I am ready to press start. Now that it's done cutting, I can simply unload the mat peel off the vinyl and you can see that it has done the kiss cut where it doesn't cut through the back but it has only cut through this part and each of these is now like a sticker essentially you can see that I'm not going to remove it yet but let's go ahead and start the weeding process I'm using a hook tool which is the best tool that I found so far for weeding. Basically what you want to do is you want to pull the vinyl somewhere that you don't want and you can usually get your finger in and you'll see that all of the excess vinyl just comes away. If you don't want to be as wasteful as I am you could of course trim this piece a little bit smaller. Now the hook tool is even more useful when you're working on something small like the um, text which we're about to do. Isn't that cool? And I always wish that I could think of a use for this other half. I suppose you could put it on something and then reuse it. 
Now this is where the hook tool really comes in handy. You want to take out all of these tiny little insides. So now that I have gotten all of the insides out, I'm going to take a transfer sheet and one by one I want to transfer the text onto these labels. But I don't want to accidentally catch something I don't want, so I'm simply going to just cut these apart to make that transferring process a little bit easier. So to transfer the vinyl, I take the transfer sheet. I can use the grid lines here to help me line this up to make sure that it's straight. I'm going to rub with my thumb. You can also put this sheet back under here so that the sticky part doesn't get on your table. You can also rub with, this is a scraper tool, which if you're doing a lot like I am, sometimes it's easier to use a tool than your fingers. But this should come right off onto there. You can see that. I can. So now I'm going to place this onto my label and again I can use this line to make sure that it's straight. I can rub with my fingers or with my tool. But when I remove this, there is my perfect label exactly as I wanted it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the others. So now I'm ready to go ahead and put my stickers onto my jars. You could use a transfer sheet, but these are big enough that I find it easier just to grab one, lay down my jar, oops, sticky, it wants to stick on there, and then sort of eyeball it and smooth it down. Pretty cool, right? And now I just have to do all the jars, fill them up, and set the table for my barbecue. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to check out my blog at balzerdesigns.kypad.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com. <laughs>